Hi, my name is Steve Cook. I'm the Director of Emerging Issues at the Canadian Electricity Association. Today on the Future is Now series, we're chatting about the IV charging network, a joint project from the Ontario Power Generation and Hydro One. I want to welcome Keegan Tully from OPG and Kyle Mercy from Hydro One. They're going to tell us a little bit about how the network came to be today. So, Keegan, what was the primary goal of the IV charging network? So with IV, our, our sort of tagline and, and goal is really uh, to make EV charging, fast charging, easy, reliable, and seamless. We, we really want to give drivers in Ontario uh, a place to charge from east to west, west and north to south, um, and, and give them a place to charge wherever they are in the province. Great, thanks. And uh, Kyle, where is the IV charging network at right now? And what do you expect to see in the future? So today we've got uh, 18 sites live uh, all across the province, um, all fast charging sites. Uh, as we grow and develop, we're, by the end of next year, we're gonna have 70 sites, or over 70 sites live with 160 chargers. Uh, so we're gonna continue to grow the actual size of the network. Uh, and then of course, EVs is a, you know, an emerging technology. Uh, so our goal is going to be to continue to adapt as the technology itself uh, continues to change um, and be ready there to you know, provide a high quality service to our customers. Now, do you see these as um, gas stations kind of where you just pull in or, or how are they going to work across the, uh, the Ontario uh, landscape? So uh, it's similar, but different to gas stations. Um, unlike a gas station where you pull up and you actually are uh, holding the pump for the few minutes that you're char or, uh, fueling up your vehicle, um, when you're charging an EV, uh, you're plugging in and then you're free to you know, wander about the property. Uh, and you know, that knowledge has been key in how we've actually built the network. Uh, so for us, it's been key that you actually have something to do uh, during the time that you're uh, charging your vehicle, that it's a place that you're going to feel safe uh, and comfortable. Um, this is also new technology. Um, I think, you know, one of the issues that we've seen in the past has been reliability. And so for us, uh, building on the core competency of our parent companies, making sure this is as reliable as possible um, is really been a key. So, you know, it, it's similar in that it's infrastructure you rely on. It's different in that the way you experience it, you got a little bit more freedom while you're actually refueling. And on top of that, um, it's new technology and something that, you know, requires real expertise to manage properly. Great. Uh, Keegan, why is it so important that both OPG and Hydro One partnered on this particular project? Well, you know, I, I think it's a, a really large initiative and um, it really spans across the province. So uh, Hydro One's another large electricity company uh, from Ontario that has a presence right across the province. So I, I think um, we really saw a value in them as a partner on Ivy with us from, from that perspective. And um, I think we both, you know, have goals around, uh, you know, we've made a lot of investments in a clean electricity system in Ontario, and uh, we'd like to see that clean electricity clean up transportation and, and really enable an electric future. So I think we are both aligned in those, those goals and, uh, bring different competencies to the project. And, and that's why it's so great to be partnering together. Um, does this help you in the um, future planning around generation? Um, is this going to drive such a massive um, influx of electricity use that, that OPG really needs to understand what that future could hold? Yeah, I, th I think it's important that we understand it. You know, we really wanted to lay the foundation uh, for electrification in Ontario. Um, demand has been falling uh, for, for a long time in Ontario or, or flat the last number of years. And, you know, the system's burdened with a, a, a lot of fixed cost assets. And so we see electrification as a way to really spread the fixed cost of the system uh, out over a larger amount of generation and, uh, and, and really reduce uh, costs for customers. So I, I think that's sort of a lot of where we're coming from with this. And, you know, hopefully 
with uh, electric electrification in the future that will bring new opportunities for the core business and in investing in, in future generation. Excellent. And Kyle, um, what are your thoughts uh, as Hydro One? What was the focus that you had in partnering with OPG on this? Yeah, so I mean, as Keegan mentioned, uh, shared value, shared goals. Uh, this is what made the partnership been so successful um, as we brought it to life. Uh, for Hydro One, just like OPG, there's a big focus on sustainability, taking advantage of the clean energy. Um, and then there's also just a key element uh, that I think you touched on here of you know allowing our parent companies to learn firsthand. Um, you know, IV is a Hydro One customer. We're working with Hydro One, uh, the regulated entity, um, in setting up these charging networks, and we're able to or setting up this charging network, and we're able to take a lot of key learnings from that. Um, so that's certainly a key goal from us. And then it's you know new ways to connect with our customers. Uh, that's another key element. Um, so that's definitely the key focus from Hydro One perspective. And then with working with OPG, um, you know, we're see, I, I know they want to learn the exact same things and just got these shared values. That's really made it work. Excellent. Gentlemen, um, I want to thank you, but I have one other final question for you. If you could capture in one word um, electricity today, what would that one word be? For me, it would be the future. And, and it, I say that because I really believe electricity is the, the, the fuel of the future and it's, it's the fuel that's needed to meet any net zero 2050 targets or anything like that. Thanks, Keegan. And Kyle, your one word? I'm going to go with uh, liberating. Uh, it's been historically liberating, allowing us, allowing us uh, you know, in Ontario to live in places comfortably uh, that are pretty incredibly remote. And you know, with the Ivy Network, uh, we're opening up Ontario uh, to electric vehicle uh, drivers all, all across the province, so uh, liberating. Gentlemen, thank you very much. I'd like to thank Keegan Tully from OPG and Kyle Mursky from Hydro One for taking the time today to talk to us about the Ivy Charging Network.